Welcome to this lesson in the Odoo 19 Inventory Management course by Catilinx. In this video, we're diving into one of the most important and often misunderstood parts of inventory valuation, landed costs. We'll answer the six key questions. What, why, who, where, when, and how. While showing exactly how to set up and apply landed costs in Odoo 19. What are landed costs? Landed costs are the additional expenses incurred to bring your products from the supplier to your warehouse. These may include freight charges, customs duty, insurance, and handling fees. Odoo lets you allocate these costs accurately across the products received, so your stock valuation reflects the true cost of goods. Why is this important? Because without landed costs, your inventory values and profit margins can be misleading. By adding real costs, like shipping or import fees, you get an accurate view of your cost of goods sold gross profit, and stock valuation. Any business that imports goods, uses third-party logistics, or pays extra fees to bring inventory in, including distributors, retailers, and manufacturers. Let's jump into Odoo. Go to the Inventory app, Configuration, Settings. Scroll down to the Valuation section. Make sure the checkbox for landed costs is enabled. If you don't already have one, select or create a landed cost journal typically named Landed Costs, with the journal type set to miscellaneous. This journal records the accounting entries created when you apply landed costs. When do you apply them? You apply landed costs after you receive goods from your supplier. Once the incoming shipment is marked, done in Odoo, how do we configure it correctly? Next, let's make sure our product categories are ready. Go to Inventory, Configuration, Product Categories. Select the category for your purchased products. Under Inventory Valuation, make sure Costing Method, in or Average Cost, AVCO, Inventory Valuation, UMAR Automated. Odoo needs this setup to automatically adjust product cost when landed costs are applied. Before we can apply a delivery charge, we need to create it as a service product. Go to the Inventory app, Products, Create, name it Delivery Charges or Freight Fee, set the product type to Service. Under the Purchase tab, Enable can be expensed. Under the Inventory tab, Check is a landed cost. Save the product. This step is crucial. Only products marked as Is a landed cost can be selected when applying landed costs. Creating the purchase order. Now, let's create a real example. Go to the Purchase app, Orders, Create. Select your vendor and add the product you're buying. For example, office chairs. Confirm the purchase order and receive the products in your warehouse. Once the goods are received and the transfer is marked done, Odoo will record the items as received inventory. Adding delivery costs. Now we'll add the extra cost, for example, the freight or delivery charge. Go to Inventory, Operations, Landed Costs, Create. Choose the vendor bill or create a new one if needed. Under Transfers, Select the incoming shipment that matches this delivery. Use the same reference number as your purchase order's incoming transfer. In cost lines, add a line for your delivery expense, such as description, freight product, delivery charges split, method, by quantity or by value amount, 150 USD click compute, then validate. Odoo automatically spreads that $150 delivery cost across all received items based on your chosen split method, adjusting their average cost in real time. You can now see the updated stock valuation and journal entry linked to the landed cost journal. Always make sure that the landed cost reference matches the incoming transfer reference. This ensures the extra costs are applied to the correct batch of goods. Landed costs represent the total cost of bringing your products into your warehouse, including freight, customs, insurance, and delivery charges. They help you capture the true cost per item and keep your inventory valuation accurate. To enable landed costs in Odoo, go to Inventory, Configuration, Settings, check landed costs under Valuation, confirm your product category, uses average costing and automated valuation, and create a service product, such as delivery charges, marked as, is a landed cost. Once this setup is complete, Odoo will automatically allocate these additional expenses across your products, giving you precise inventory values and more reliable profit margins. 
And that's how landed costs work in Odoo 19, from setup to real-world application. We've covered what they are, why they matter, who should use them, where to configure them, when to apply them, and how to record them correctly. In the next video, we'll explore stock valuation reports and how to verify that your landed costs have updated your inventory value accurately. I'm Melissa from Katie Links. If you'd like help setting up or optimizing your Odoo system, visit katielinks.com for professional guidance, hands-on training, and step-by-step -step templates. And don't forget to subscribe to the Katie Links YouTube channel for more Odoo 19 tutorials.